Tommy, 3,146, an unbelievable Munster Derby crowd, but in the end, as we started, nil-nil, nothing lost, nothing gained on the night, but still undefeated, a good Munster Derby night? Yeah, Tom's a good game, actually, you know, um, obviously the sour point is the sending off at the end, uh, oh, disappointing because yeah, there, was, there was some thunderous tackles, which was good, you know, we have to, we have to start, like we said it last week, you know, Lee got booked for a tackle last week when... You know, it's up to the opposition player to stop and protect themselves. You know, um, um, and we just got to look at the game. It's coming to this, you know, overruled. And look, in fairness to the ref, like they're in his ear looking for him to get sent off. You know, we probably want in their ear for their tackle and ushing. You know, so they're cuter. Uh, they get him sent off. Um, you know, it's part of the game now. We're, we're, we don't really do it that, uh, as much. Maybe we should. Um, because they, I felt that they they got him sent off but look it is what it is um, we move on but overall uh, I thought we had the better chances in the game um, you know Enders won hits the target they had no real clear cut chances few scrambles we definitely had the better chance in the game and disappointed not to get three points but in saying that I'm happy enough with the one as well obviously because they're a really good side and you know they're very good on the counter attack in particular and they're very quick um, and they get, they, they're good out wide as well and they, and they get the balls in the box so um, I thought we defended it really well tonight um, and just a bit disappointed not to get three points You think back to the Stephen Christopher chance at the end when he turned I don't think he realised he had 12, 14 yards space and he probably preferred to get it on the right He'd never looked comfortable on the left even though he was bearing down on goal disappointed he didn't square it or at least hit the target yeah I'm disappointed because like, Stevie's very calm and he, you know I think I think you might have said it there Mike yourself it probably Bob but Stevie wasn't making any excuses in fairness he, he knows he should have hit the target probably went for a bit too much power um, uh, you know and they hit the target with the other good chance in the game uh, just before half time I don't think really think they had a clear cut chance which is great you know no look they had pressure you know because they're a good side but we, we limited them to, to not very range. yeah not very many clear cut chances at all. Few, they're very good at attacking set pieces but we, we, we caused them trouble from set pieces as well so um, overall I think we've we got to be happy with the point you know as I said they're, they're a good side but um, yeah I suppose we're reflecting I'm happy with it but a slight tinge of disappointment I suppose you would have thought the second half against Bray, defence looked shaky, you looked on the ropes when Bray got back into the game tonight, looked very solid, thought Ben and Evan really marshalled the defence well, Robbie Lynch outstanding on his return to the team and Ushin O'Reilly has really fitted in now in place of Mark Ludden. Yeah, look, we had a few, a few hairy, scary moments, but it's all day, like, you know, um, you thought Robbie was excellent actually, yeah, and, and the back four were very good, Corey was very good for what he had to do, you know, he was calm, catching balls, um, uh, it was a really good defensive performance by everyone actually um, uh, and yeah look, going back to last week Mike I think in fairness we yeah, we set back too much but um, the penalty changes the game they didn't really okay they had a couple of chances in the first half but second half they weren't really creating mm-hmm. anything and then that gives them a bit of momentum and goals change games we know that um, and look it was a decision last week as well that I felt hard done by I think you know I look back at it again I don't think it was a penalty you know uh, he manages to himself on the ground, but again, look, they're cute, and uh, and and they get those things. Um, you know, uh, we, we probably just have to get a bit cuter. You look across the division now, Tommy. It's really competitive, isn't it? You've held the team at the top, so you'll hold no fears about Cork. But right behind you, Bray conceded for or tonight. <coughs> Wexford scored for. It was three three long for that loan. UCD got two late goals to beat Cove. Finn Harps drawing with Kerry. The table didn't change much, only UCD probably leapfrogged into fourth, so this division is wide open. Absolutely it is, yeah. You know, look, Cork are going to be the favourites, Mike, and rightly so too, and, you know, they're, you'd expect them to, 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 to pull ahead, um, given the, the squad that they have um, above everyone else. But look, that brings its own pressures as well. There's no real pressure on us. Um, we'll just keep, as we keep saying, taking it game by game. But they're missing a lot of players tonight. It was probably a good opportunity for us to... To, to get three points and, and um, you know it's probably it's probably too too dropped uh, in that sense um, and you know we might not get that chance again because you know they're going to get their players back and, and they have a really strong squad but at the same time you know we're we're um, we're always going to be difficult to beat and just a bit more quality in our finishing tonight and a bit more quality in the, in the, in in the in the opposition box and we win that game you know.
unusually for football, only three minutes added at the end. Not too many substitutions made. You elected to make just two, one force very early in the game. Was it more a case of you didn't want to change it because you were coping fine? Or is the strength in depth not really there at the moment? I just felt it like it was a helter skelter game, you know, and we, we just felt yeah, yo yo needed to be changed. Obviously Tammy got injured as well, David Tammy, so I needed to come on. Um uh, and you know, did I make another change? Sorry. Tammy went off early and yeah, Sean Costler came on. Sean Costler came in for Yo yo. Really yeah, effective change yeah. by Sean. Yeah, he was really good, you know, and we just felt he's training well, he's playing well, you know, he's he's you know, he's 16, 17 years of age, he's under, still under 17, he's, he's scoring a lot of goals with the 20s, you know, he's four years still in 20, so um, he's training really well and he's very good in that 10. Look, I was thinking of bringing Stevie in and putting Willie out wide, but look, if we needed the goal, we're probably, you know, bringing Willie on, but it's very hard to get into that, into the game as well, and especially in wide positions because they're, they're a threat down wide, the fullbacks are good, you're bringing some, like the two lads were, were tracking the fullbacks, so that was a tactical thing. No, we, we have, we've led to come in, Scotty, Scotty and Willie started the last four games, you know, so, um, they're, they're going to play again Alec Byrne is on the bench there you know uh, he's another player we call Mark Byrne we have to see him yes you know Fionn has done really out. well when he's when, he, when he's came on so no all those boys are very important but just sometimes you just have to think and go are you making a change for the sake of it uh, so but we certainly have the squad depth I'm, I'm happy with our squad depth yeah Three games Tommy nearly 7,500 supporters in for three games we've long held the argument that you know build it and they'll come and Limerick is a sporting city and we never really saw the support there's a bit of a groundswell at the moment really young youthful audience coming to games which is brilliant to see they're not seeing a losing team which is absolutely vital in Limerick as we know in sport but really encouraging 7,500 in over three games to start the season it's fantastic Mike yeah. was it 3,100 3,146 oh, yeah, I thought he said 2,146 and I was like I thought it was more like three yeah so because it looked, it looked big um, yeah it's fantastic it's great uh, there's a big drive big effort by ourselves in the media team and, uh, and, and all the media team have done a fantastic job around that and you know obviously the board as well uh, Mary, Sean <coughs> and Kira, uh, uh, you know they, 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 they've promoted it really, really well, and and the players have done their business as well. So you know, and you need to do that. The players need to do that. In fairness, we're we're, we're playing. It. It was, I thought it was a good game, even though it was nil all. It was a good game. We're playing attractive football, um, particularly in the conditions. It's, it's hard to play because the wind is howling and, and the pitch is in fantastic at the moment. Although it's probably still one of the better pitches around. It's stuck the rain very well this year. In fairness, that. Um, so it's, it's it's going well at the moment, but you know yourself, Mike. We have to be cautious because it can change very quickly, and, and even crowds can can be fickle, as we know. So, like you know, <laughs> the the, uh, the Midwest public uh, probably expect uh, their teams to be top of the league all the time, and and to come out when when they're top of the league. So I'd like to see it. It's great to see a lot of younger fans in. Uh, and hopefully they're coming just to, to see the football and, and the bits around it as well and they're coming to support and they'll come when the win, lose or draw like I, like, I think we should be getting that win and lose or, losing or draw you know we should be getting in around the 2000 you know it's, it's a good night's entertainment I feel um, and the, it's much better to watch matches live than on TV Very finally so nothing lost nothing gained you're still in second still unbeaten big crowd good night Yeah Look, yeah, uh, uh, do you know what? I said, really happy with the performance. Slight tinge of uh, disappointment with the um, uh, dropping two points because I thought we were, had the better chances, but and, and also with Lee getting sent off. Look, as I said, if the ref sends Lee off, he's got to send their player off for Oshie. They're two very same tackles. Um, and they're either two yellows or two reds, in my eyes. 